annual incentive bonus, 541,000 rands. Uh, something cash award, 221,000. Hi guys, welcome to The Village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. If it's your first time here, a warm welcome to you. And if you are a retaining uh, villager, uh, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, so today, guys, I know this is why you clicked on this video. You want to see some payslips in a built environment. But I also have one bonus payslip that is not from the built environment, aka construction industry. It's a payslip of a mere right. <laughs> artisans but you know what get ready for chest pains <laughs> here's what you can expect in this video you can expect three payslips of civil engineers right uh, there's one who's uh, more seniors one is intermediate and there's one who's still a candidate engineer so they are all at different levels and you can also expect a payslip of a draftsman and a payslip of a, a qualified um architect right he, she has done everything now right <laughs> done her masters though it's not necessary but she's got a masters and she has done her training uh, under a mentor all good got her practice number okay that's what you can expect today okay let's start with an architect um uh let's start with an architect right uh, this person is now um, a professional, so she's registered uh, in the profession. She's got her master's, right? Um, and when she shared this payslip with me, um, yeah, she was going through a lot because she really felt uh, she does not deserve this. But before I share it, just remember, for you to get your professional number, right? I think they call it a PRN number, a or PR number. Uh, you need to work with consultants, right? Uh, so that uh, you can gain experience and exposure. This will really help you to get registered. So don't be discouraged. If you are doing architecture and you see this payslip right now, don't be discouraged. It's part of the process, you know? um the the process is quite lengthy let me just put it that way uh let me see uh she did explain a bit here i have a master's it's not necessary but it's preferred it allows you to work on bigger size projects and greater responsibilities right without it you would need to work for longer the architect the architectural profession works on different levels three-year undergrad qualification you become an architectural jobs person right and then once you've done your post grad which is a one year uh, honors degree or btech you become a senior architectural technologist okay and then you do your one or two years of masters a professional degree either mtech or m or m arc you become a candidate architect first it's either one of those you are required to work for 24 months under a mentor. So that's what I was talking about that you will work for consultants. So I really think you just need to take it as an internship, right? Don't take it as a job, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so then you write your, your professional exams. That's only when you become a professional architectural technologist. So that's where she is now. And I'm so delighted that now she's got a job where the benefits the salary is much better but i can only receive the payslip she said she will only send it end of july so guys remind me about it end of july but at the moment let's just look at how much she's earning basic salary twenty eight thousand. um then there's tax uif uh Net pay $23,559. Okay, that's a pay slip of an architect with a master's degree. Now, let's move and look 
at a payslip of a civil engineer. Right. Uh, okay, he's got BTEC in transportation, seven years experience. He works in a private sector. Um, this is when it gets better. I know I have solid experience. This is when promotion starts kicking in. Registered people with professional bodies like ECSA on the same level as me are getting decent salaries. Okay, so I asked him if he's registered and he said no, he is not registered, right? So BTEC in transportation, guys, it means they specialize in building roads and stuff, okay? So his basic salary is 23,000, telephone allowance 1,500, site allowance 4,000, site travel allowance 7,800, and then there's other things that is stretched out. I don't know what is it, but it's 8,200. Another amount is 1,300. Total earnings 46,187. Hmm. I don't know how the village feels about this one. Uh, total deductions is 7,897. Net pay is 38,289. He's got his pension fund, right? Um, no medical aid, but it's got his pension fund. Total deduction, 7,897. Net pay is 38,289. I don't know how the village feels about this one. Uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, do you think it's decent uh, for a civil engineer? Okay. Let's move to a draftsman, right? Morning Boni, here is a salary of a designer slash draftsman with five to ten years experience. That's what he said. So I don't know how many years experience he has exactly, but he says five to ten years experience. So this person is quite senior, senior, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, salary 64,500. 64,500. And then deductions 17,200 his deductions is just tax guys and uif net pay is 47,298 okay this is a surprise um i don't know if you are like i never knew like i didn't even have estimates of how much all drafts men earn so what do you think i also think he works for consultants since there isn't like any uh, benefits okay right now get ready for chest pains the book guys is greatly gave me chest pains <laughs> chest pains galore hi bonnie i hope you are well thank you for the platform to share our work experiences in order to be motivated as well as others i'm a project engineer in the mining industry been working for four years to give context about myself, I'm 34 years old, ambitious lady. I've got two undergrad degrees, a master's degree from and about to get graduate. I'm about to graduate with an MBA. Two degrees from the UK and two from SA, all reputable universities that most know. I must admit that my education really helped me entry into the current uh, career, but mostly God's grace. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. I have eight years of working experience, uh, but before entering mining, I did some contract work for the government uh, for a small pay there and there in private company where I volunteered. And since then, uh, they didn't have a budget to pay me and someone who believes in growth, I stuck around. Okay. Yo, guys. So she mentioned um, other benefits that she gets from a company. Um, accommodation, random uh, grocery vouchers, take a lot of vouchers, at home vouchers. But... She's not really happy, you know, but I'm not going to get into that, you know. You know, engineering jobs are demanding, nan, nan, you know. 
but let's just focus on a salary for the purpose of this video this email was lengthy you know but i don't want to get into that but she does she she gets paid really well guys 34 year old black woman i need to emphasize that she is black because you guys most of you some of you when i share good salaries you say it's white people don't be like that please okay black woman travel allowance 8,841 basic salary 101,000 annual incentive bonus 541,000 rands uh, something cash award 221,000 uh, there's something uh, with uh, a reimbursement. I think it's a car thing. Uh, 6,621. Cell phone allowance, 800. Total earnings is 800. 881,000. <laughs> okay. Before you come to my comment section and say, oh no, but there were bonuses, blah, blah, blah. Check this out. Her basic salary is 100,000. Okay? It's over 100,000 because she's got travel other allowances, right? So, 881,000 gross for this month, for this young black lady. I'll say she's young because she's not 35 yet. Okay? Total tax, 353,000. Oh, Jesus. Total deductions, 363,000, right? And the net pay of half a million rands. That's the salary of a civil engineer in mining with a master's degree, her MBA. Oh my God. Totally impressed. Like, how is the village feeling about this one? Let me know guys in the comment section below. <laughs> okay, so he wrote, I'm a civil engineer by profession. I did BNG, civil engineering at UJ. The payslip I'm sharing is my second payslip after starting working. Um, right, my occupation in my occupation is candidate engineer okay so let's see how much he is earning who candidate engineer all right mm. basic salary thirty six thousand six hundred np cash one thousand okay this uh this salary sorry this payslip guys is from 2022 okay uh in august for context Right, basic salary thirty six thousand six hundred, NP cash one fifteen thousand seven hundred, NP cash allowance one thousand six hundred and forty. Uh, yeah, so net salary is forty thousand eight hundred and ninety nine. Deductions thirty thousand. Candidate engineer, right? Equal salary is fifty three thousand nine hundred and seventy nine. Deductions thirteen thousand. Net salary forty thousand eight hundred. And 99 that's a pay slip of a candidate uh i nearly said candidate attorney candidate engineer right now let's move to mid right this is a bonus pay slip uh mid right uh at a air compressor company their basic salary is eight thousand rand with uh free medical aid from discovery i only have m2 in chemical engineering in brackets fitting okay this one is doing a apprenticeship okay they are not yet qualified this is an apprenticeship and it's very important to note that basic salary eight thousand rands over time two thousand six hundred over time one thousand six hundred total earnings twelve thousand four hundred and then there is deductions company contributions uh, medical aid 1400 and pension employer contribution 600 rand um here guys skills development and uh, okay those are fringe benefits okay 
Mm. Total net pay, guys, is 11,000 grand. There's someone who's doing his apprenticeship in mill right i don't know how the village feels about this one i mean i'm happy i'm good <laughs> it's apprenticeship so i'm good guys please like uh like this video if you found value i hope you found value uh, please like and consider subscribing guys it's free uh so that you can be part of this village if you would like to send me your pay slip i hide your personal details uh if in your company details i will not mention where you work uh, it could be in any industry. You can just send it through at power.bonisile at gmail.com. Guys, I am asking you one more time. Please do not send me your CVs. I do not have jobs. Anything that has to do with jobs or, 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 or learnerships or whatever, I will just post it on TikTok or Instagram. Otherwise, don't send me anything in my inbox, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't have jobs. I don't have jobs. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.